here we are down at Portway. Um, we've just finished playing Claverdon um, in what we thought would be a really close game and it turned um, out to be. Uh, we came out the eventual winners 29-27 with a last gasp kick. Um, but I think that's kind of jumping to the end of it there. So it was, um, for all throughout Lewis, we were 15-5 behind it yeah. in the first, at half time yeah, yeah. Um, and really had to dig in in the second half. Yeah, I mean, we spoke uh, going into half time about it and we thought we were on top for a lot of the first half, just didn't come away with any points. I mean, we, we made mistakes, but overall like, our game's played in their half and I mean, we're moving the ball well and stuff. It's just the execution, last last like, last like phase that we're messing up. But we spoke about it and we said, like, heads up because we're doing everything right it's just the last last phase of play and then obviously second half we come out uh, scored within the first like sort of two minutes uh, I think like two or three back to back tries and then sort of we, we carried on from there really yeah absolutely and then see you see a similar kind of game from the outside Harry but it was the um, we were playing a lot of rugby in the first half and they just took their chances when they were there but it was kind of really supporting that really watching on yeah so it- the first half it was we were playing a lot of rugby in the right areas but it was just the last little like Lewis said the last little passes just weren't going to hand a couple drop balls and then fair play to Claverdon they when they got their chances they took them they scored but the second half was a lot better we took a bit more chances and we fought down to the end it was tough at the end yeah yeah it really was and um but uh, holding on to the end, I mean, we all, all sat on the side with a bated breath waiting for you for that kick. How was it yeah. for you trying to knock that penalty over at the end? It's horrible, man, because at Colville we had the same thing. Uh, and then I got it at Colville and then we lost in the last phase of play because of a high tackle. And then this one, it was actually last play. So I was like, oh, my God. Uh, I said to Joe, our captain, I said, look, I mean, I, 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 I should get it. But, I mean, the nerves got to me a little bit. And then I uh, obviously kicked it, looking straight like it's going through the post, moves over. Hits the post and goes over, and then uh, yeah, we won by two points, didn't we? So, nah, it's nerve wracking, but you got got to be in that position sometimes, and the boys got us in that position to be within two or three points for me to make the kick. So, props to the lads because we played really well second half. Yeah, it's all about these big moments, isn't it? It's the high pressure and we don't have to deal with it. it it's it, you learn it now, but it matters at different points throughout the season, doesn't it? Um, so, see, next week we're away again against um, Coventrians. Um, we faced them before. So it's going to be a, a big challenge for us because we've played them last season. We kind of know what to expect, but also know they're pushed on, Harry, isn't it? Yeah, so last season, Coventrians were one of the teams that gave us a proper game and we lost them away last season. We want to sort of go back there this season now and do, uh, do them over and give them a bit of payback. But it's going to be a tough game. They're a good, squ- good squad and they push us to the edge. Yeah, so it should be another exciting game ahead and uh, yeah so we can't wait and we'll see you there next Saturday